you're reviving candies as you write in real money. I just think that people have to recognize I'm bringing back candies. Now, why did I bring them back? And this is, uh, we're talking about, uh, you can, I just, I refer people to the article. I want them yes. to do it. But this is about the notion of growth transcending any moments in time. And that what people, I, I, I'm going back to that only to show that if you stay in touch, you buy and you do homework, mm -hmm. and you recognize that if somebody, a company's growth slows down, as was the case with the E in their Express Scripts, fight with their largest client. If the company is a little more faddish, that's the case of the D in there, which is Deckers and Uggs, then you have to pull back from those, but overall, the growth, even with two stinkers, the growth far exceeded the S&P. And that's a lesson for Fang, because I have had more Fang detractors than I've ever seen. New York Times, will you give me a break? Come on, I came up with Fang. Um, I have seen so many detractors about growth, and they're missing the whole point, which is that stocks are bought for growth. Now, we do want yield. I like Magellan Midstream. Why? Because it yields five. But I do, and I do like the typical stocks that yield three, four. But what people buy stocks for at the mutual fund level is growth. And growth can transcend a lot of transgressions. We're watching growth go higher because the transgressions of Washington are playing out.